Let's get started with the tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create channel art in 2018-2019. So it's changed for several years, but this is the best way that I've found to make channel art for free. So first you need to get the channel art template. You can easily get this by going to your channel and hovering over your channel art and going to this button here. Then you'll see how to create channel art link and there's going to be some files that you're gonna to need to download. So you're gonna go here to get images for channel art, image size and file guidelines, and you're gonna download the channel art templates. Now in this folder, you're gonna see two different files. You're gonna see one that is a um, Photoshop, which is PSD, and you're gonna see one that's a PNG. You wanna save that one to your desktop and you wanna use that one. Okay. So then we're going to go into iPicky, which is basically a PicMonkey um, service that's free. And you're going to go to create a design, okay? Then in here, it's going to load. We're going to go to new and start from an image. This is where you're going to find your channel art template, okay? So open this up. Wrong one. In desktop and then open this okay so this is what you're going to use to make your channel art now this gives you all the different dimensions so this part here the dark part is where everyone will be able to see on their phone and also on their desktop but if you have a bigger screen such as an iMac or versus like a laptop you're gonna see different bits of this so it's important to put the most important stuff here where everyone will see it and then this stuff over here will be for people that have bigger um, desktops okay so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a photo to do that we're gonna go to this button here upload image and we're gonna add our background so you can find backgrounds pretty much anywhere online I usually go to Pinterest just because I find it's the easiest drag this in okay now we're gonna rotate this and make it as big as we need it for our channel art okay so typically you want to have something that's big enough that's gonna fill this entire screen so once you have that, we are ready to go, okay? So make it the right size. Make sure it fills the entire screen without making it too big, okay? So something like this is fine. Now we're going to add in our text. So go to the text, and you're going to type in whatever text that you want. So this would be your channel name. So for instance, mine would be Gabrielle. Murray, obviously, um, and then here you're going to see you have online fonts or local fonts will be what is downloaded onto your computer. If you need some fonts, you can go to defont.com and download those, um, but online ones are still really good. So you can choose any of these here. Let's see what they got. You know what? I think I'm going to go with lobster just so this video isn't super duper long okay we're gonna make this big rotate it okay then this is where you can change sizes gradient fill drop shadow etc so we're gonna fill this I'm gonna use white okay then we're gonna add a stroke and that just gives it the background so you can go into settings and change it so you can do an outer stroke or an inner stroke I recommend outer stroke okay so you can change it to whatever color you want just kind of see how it looks on your actual um, background okay so that's what that is you can also add in a drop shadow to make it pop and you can change the distance of it you can change the angle the size and the opacity usually I don't do too big of an opacity okay next we're gonna add in my second text which would be Marie Go ahead back in to lobster. Good. You can change the size of this, change the angle. What you really want to make sure is that you're filling up this entire space here. Okay, that's very, very important just to make it look nice and clean and easily read on any sort of platform. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing here, except for the stroke. We can go, I'm actually going to use the color drop tool and pick up one of these greens, okay? So we'll do maybe something like that. You can change the size a little bit and the opacity if you want. It's up to you guys, okay? Drop shadow, same thing. And obviously, this is just an example, okay? You guys can do 
pretty much whatever you want here, okay? So then once you've done that, you can add in any sort of pictures or little art or a picture of you, whatever you think, whatever you like. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to also change the inner stroke to be... Oh, you know what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I totally messed that up. Okay, let me... Do that. Okay, so now once you've had that, you're going to go ahead and save this, okay? So we're going to save it, and you're going to change the name of it. You can say new channel art, and you want to make sure that you do either high or highest quality and save that to your computer, okay? Now when you go in, you're going to go to your channel art, click this photo, and now you can select the photo from your computer. And you're going to go in and select that that we just created here. Open. Okay, and then you're going to select this. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's very simple. Obviously, you guys can change it however you like, make it more fancy. But that is the basics. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know down below.